Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So today we'll discuss about the non-exact differential equation. So in my last video I told about exact differential equations when we can test for the exactness by checking the condition del m by del y is equal to del n by del x. But it's not necessary that all the given equations they are always exact, right? So if an equation is non-exact, that means if the condition curl m by curl y is not equal to curl n by curl x, then we will declare that the equation is a non-exact differential equation. Then how to deal with those equations, right? So when we have a non-exact differential equation, how do we make it exact? We make it exact by multiplying with the integrating factor. So what is an integrating factor? It is a factor which when multiplied with a non-exact differential equation makes it exact. Right. Now, how do we search for these integrating factors? There are various methods. So we will cover up the first method today. So in that method, uh, so this is what the meaning of integrating factor is. Let's suppose this equation is not exact differential equation and we are able to find a function lambda which is making this equation exact. So what are we going to do? We are going to multiply this equation with lambda. So we will get lambda m dx plus lambda n dy equal to 0 which makes it an exact differential equation. And once it is an exact differential equation, you know how to solve it, right? So here lambda will be called the integrating factor. So the first method to find out the integrating factor is that if the given differential equation is homogeneous in nature, that means the terms m, mx, m and n, they are homogeneous in nature, then the integrating factor will be 1 upon mx plus ny, provided that the denominator term should not become 0, right? So it is undefined then. So if m and n are homogeneous, then 1 upon mx plus ny will be an integrating factor. So let us understand this case with the help of an exercise. So we are given to solve x squared y dx minus x cubed plus x y squared dy equal to 0. If you compare it with the standard equation m dx plus n dy equal to 0, so your m becomes x squared y and n becomes, I'm just expanding it, so it is minus x cubed minus x into y squared. So let us test for exactness. So curl m by curl y is x square and curl n by curl x will be minus 3x square minus y square, right? So you can clearly see that curl m by curl y is not equal to curl n by curl x. So we need to calculate an integrating factor, right? So how to calculate an integrating factor now? So let us see that is m and n homogeneous in nature? Homogeneous means that they should have the same degree. So m has degree 3. All There are two terms in n and both the terms have degree 3. So yes, it is homogeneous, right? So, let, so the integrating factor according to that case is 1 upon m into x plus n into y. So let's multiply m with x and add it to n into y. So m into x will become x cube y and when we add y times n so it is x cube y minus x into y cube right so you can see that this term gets cancelled and we get minus 1 upon x y cube so this becomes my integrating factor so once we get the integrating factor let us multiply the entire equation with this integrating factor so we have x square y we multiply it with minus 1 by x y cube dx then we have minus 1 minus is already there we are multiplying with another minus sign so we will get x into y cube x cube plus x into y square dy is equal to 0. So let us first reduce it so we can see that x gets cancelled 1y gets cancelled right so we will get the term minus x upon y square dx. Let's split up the terms. So the first term 1x will get cancelled. So you will have x square upon y cube plus the second term x gets cancelled. y square and y cube gets cancelled. So you will get 1 by y dy is equal to 0. So now what is the solution? So now this equation was not exact but now this will be an exact differential. Right? 
So now what is the solution? It is integration minus x upon y square dx plus integration of n terms of n not containing x. So this is containing x. We won't take this. So we take the second term 1 by y dy is equal to constant c. So here y is constant. So integration of x will be x square by 2. So this is x square by 2 y square. Integration of 1 by y is log y is equal to constant. Right. So this is how this is the first method of tackling with the integrating factor when the given differential equation is non-exact. Right. So let's work out another problem. So we are given to solve dy by dx is equal to x cube plus y cube upon x y square. So let us first put it up in the form of a standard differential equation. So on cross multiplying and taking the terms on one side, we will get x cube plus y cube into dx minus x into y square dy is equal to 0. So compare it with m dx plus n dy. So m is x cube plus y cube and n is minus x into y square, right? So let's quickly calculate the condition for curl m by curl y. So this is 3y square and curl n by curl x is minus y square, right? So they are not equal. So you can see that curl m by curl y is not equal to curl n by curl x. And hence it is a non-exact differential equation. So we need to search out for an integrating factor. So can we check that m and n are homogeneous in nature? All the terms of m are of degree 3. All the terms of n are of degree 3. So what is the integrating factor? The integrating factor in that case is 1 upon mx plus ny. So in this case, when we multiply m with x, we will get x4 plus x into y cube. Multiply n with y. So we will get minus x into y. So you can see that these terms get cancelled and we get 1 by x to the power 4. So now let us multiply the given equation with 1 by x to the power 4. So we have 1 by x to the power 4. x cube plus y cube dx minus x into y square divided by x to the power 4 dy is equal to 0. So let's simplify it. So this is 1 by x plus y cube by x to the power 4 dx <coughs> minus 1x gets cancelled. We get y square upon x cube dy is equal to 0. Right. So now what is the solution of these type of differential equations for an exact differential equation now? So it is integration 1 by x plus y cube by x to the power 4 dx plus terms of n not containing x. So there is no term. So 0 dy is equal to. So integration of 1 by x is log x. y is constant. And what is integration of x to the power minus 4? It is minus 4 by x to the power 5. So this is equal to constant. So we can just write down the answer as log x minus 4y cube by x to the power 5 is equal to constant. Right. So I hope you have understood the first method for calculating a integrating factor. Right. So now you can just practice these problems and do put the comments that if you're not able to solve any particular question. Right. So thank you so much for listening to this video. So if you like the video, do hit the like button. And those of you who have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. And believe in yourself and you will be able to succeed. Thank you so much.